Okay, on to prediction six. By 2022, 75% of Canadian partners will have created or acquired the ability to develop custom or packaged software. New development capabilities will drive a digital ecosystem of solution providers that will be attractive to both technology vendors and enterprise buyers. IDC's perspective on the partner ecosystem is that it's quickly coalescing into a group of businesses that do many of the same things and that traditional naming conventions like VARs and ISVs have become far less relevant today. The business models of channel partners or solution providers is evolving quickly in part due to the demand for digital expertise in the market. It also aligns with the growth of cloud native applications and accelerated by the skills gap that persists amongst Canadian enterprise organizations. In Canada, 96% of organizations say they have an IT skills gap in this year's study, and 83% of firms say the IT skills gap has a business impact on their organization. Enterprises simply cannot hire, utilize, and retain a bench of software developers, so partners are filling that gap, and this is good for a partner's business. An interesting finding from our 2019 CDN IDC Canada Partners Survey was that DX-focused partners, those that have DX-dedicated project teams and revenue, generate more revenue from proprietary software. And on the flip side, firms with no focus on DX work are the most reliant on hardware resale. We can map the maturity of partners based on their digital capabilities, and that's what's shown here, where we have developer-focused partners that are further along the path to become what we call transformers and disruptors. What does this mean for the partner ecosystem in 2020? Well, we expect to see a continuation of mergers and acquisitions as players establish software capabilities. Second, we expect a concentrated focus by major vendors to recruit and nurture these developer-focused partners. From startups and scale-ups to more established multi-line solution providers, vendors, including hyperscalers, will open their arms and budgets to help shore up market presence in the expanding digital economy.